Hi everybody, this is Dr. Vilo with Revive Upper Cervical Chiropractic. You may have seen a video in the past uh, with one of our patients named Audrey, a high school soccer player who was kicked in the head and, and lost her ability to walk in a straight line. What you may have heard but didn't get the chance to see was that she also developed a stutter, a speech impediment. I'm going to play for you now the video where we interviewed her before she started care with us as well as a couple of the raw videos when she got started and then we'll kind of feed into the main uh, interview that we did on television where you'll see just you'll see the results for yourself and see how she did um, the take home here is that a lot of these injuries that people have especially youngsters that are active and in sports concussions and whiplash injuries oftentimes will leave behind damage to the upper neck that goes undiagnosed undetected and therefore can leave a residual trail of symptoms that people don't know can trace back to the neck so our encouragement is if you've had a, a concussion if you've had a whiplash injury and you're having a lot of these residual symptoms in the brain in the neck um, anywhere in the body that's just not running quite right after a physical injury a blow to the head a blow to the neck a slip and a fall a whiplash injury a sporting injury there's probably an instability at the base of the skull that hasn't been assessed. You might say that it's somewhere else in the body. It, it doesn't matter. The, the center of the brain, the base of the brain, sets right here and has its fingers in every facet of your well-being. So here's the story of Audrey. You can kind of see how she progressed. And uh, of course, you can call our office at 724-772-7060 and uh, we'll find a doctor in your area. If you're in our region or you want to fly in to see us, we'd be happy to help you as well. Take care. God bless. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm Audrey, I'm, I'm, I'm 15 to 15 years old and then I'm from Chester, well, West Virginia. Um, I got my my concussion on August 6th at the 10th. The coach decided to put me in because the first goal I needed a break or something. And I got so excited because I never get put in yeah. and like, I'm like a crappy goalie apparently. I don't know. But like I got like all like a gear on, I was so pumped and I, I ran out of there and I was so excited I like blocked so many kicks. Like, I was like crazy and then the girl had a break away. All I remember is like when she came in, she had was like dribbling it and I think I did jump to towards her feet and push the ball out of her way. And when she kicked, instead of kicking the ball, she kicked me right in the head. Um, for a while, the vestibular therapy helped me. Like, I remember the one right before my seizure, I was, I was like flying colors. I was like, I almost was like a bubble, I had a nose of stutter, I could walk for fine. I was so happy because I thought it was going to be over for her. And the, the, then, like, I thought it would actually help a bit, and then I had the seizure. And then, then I all went back to, like, square one. Um, I don't get to socialize much. I don't do, like, I don't get to play sports with people, or just, like, I can't go, like, like, I missed the sports game this year I really wanted to go to, too. But because it was just too far away, and... It's like, that's just ruined my life. Yeah, like, I have found out all my for friends, like, they're not really my for friends. Because none of them wanted to help with me. Aww. Welcome back to Pittsburgh Living on KDKA TV. I'm your host, Shelly Duffy. And today we have six excellent tri state businesses. And right now it's time to welcome Dr. Ian Bulow from Revive Upper Cervical Chiropractic. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much, it's a pleasure to be here. So uh, that's, a, that's a mouthful. Sure, yeah. So explain to me Upper Cervical Chiropractic, what is it? Yeah, it's a great question and it is kind of an unknown. You know, in healthcare there are tons of emerging therapies and procedures and, and chiropractic is no different. There's a lot of different subspecialties. And in Upper Cervical Chiropractic, the cervical area of your spine is actually your neck. So when we say Upper Cervical, what it really means is upper neck and we focus at the point where your skull sits on the top of your neck because the latest research shows that area has a really big role to play when it comes to overall 
uh, body balance, but especially brain function. It has a really big role to play in how well your brain works and therefore how well the rest of your body functions. When do things go wrong with it? Oh man, there's a, you know, you know, on one hand we could try and, and put our kids in, in plastic bubbles and live like we're not going to damage anything, but life is life and stuff happens, you know, um, from the birth process to slips and falls and you, you know, you knock your head on the, on the fire hearth as a child or, or car accidents and sporting injuries. Through life, there's a lot of little things that add up. And what we find is that those little things end up to where adults come into the clinic um, with, you know, five different medications, they've been to 10 different specialists, and they don't know why their body's behaving the way it's behaving. And we look back and say, well, it was a lot of these injuries over time that the body just broke down over time. And then in other cases, we have younger children that are athletes that have these concussions and and accidents where they immediately know there's a need and, um, and we're able to help them as well. All right, now we have a couple of guests in the studio yeah. with us today. Why don't you introduce us to well, sure. them and let us know what the situation was with them. Absolutely. Um, today we have two special guests. Um, one is our patient, Audrey, and she is a high school student who was in a soccer injury, and she can explain that. And I also have her mom because a lot of the parents, um, her mom, Danielle, a lot of the parents, they're lost. When we see these kids, the parents, they just want their child to be better, and they've been going to specialist, to specialist, to specialist, and that's fine, and a lot of times they get help there, but for the parents that don't get help, they're really wondering where to turn, and, and I thought it would be great to ask um, both Audrey about her experience and maybe Danielle about uh, hers as a parent, what Audrey has gone through. Audrey, tell us about your story. What happened to you? Well, um, on August 16th, I was uh, playing soccer as a goalie for my soccer team, and I was kicked in the head when diving for a ball. I. Uh, I lost my ability to speak very quickly. I started to stutter. Then uh, after developing a pseudo seizure type deal, I lost my ability to walk. And where did you turn from there? Obviously you were going to doctors. How did you know to seek out Dr. Bulow? Well, after going to countless doctors, uh, my mother uh, met a friend of a friend of a friend who had a daughter with the same situation I was in who went to Dr. Bulow. He, she recommended him highly, told him to skip all the, told her to skip all the, uh, the, doc, the neurologists and everything and just go straight to the chiropractor because he, he could help. Audrey, how has your life changed since all of this happened and since you've been going to Dr. Bulow? Well, at first it was horrible. Like I, I never thought it was gonna end. I really thought that I was going to live the rest of my life this way and I was thinking about all my friends that I would probably lose in the future and the friends I lost when I got the concussion and how I'd never get them back. But when I started going to Dr. Bulow, the first first visit I got, the first adjustment, you could you could immediately tell that my stutter was disappearing. Uh, I, I could just think a little bit more. I could get thoughts out faster and now that I've gone to him my life has completely changed people are talking to me again I can focus I can go to I'm going to school better I'm getting better grades I'm doing more work I'm just I'm actually being active and hanging out with people again and continuing a normal life which was what I wanted all along so all right doctor you want to let us know about Audrey's mom and what she has to say about this. Talk a little bit about that. Well, we actually have Danielle here, and what I was curious was to see, as a parent, you know, you have, you know, your child's coming to you, they can't walk, barely walk straight, is having a stutter, and you don't know, you know, you're going to options to options, and, um, and so I was kind of curious what, on her end of the story, what it felt like being the mom of a child who's not doing so well, and, and what her experience was. And I'm sure it was so frightening for you, Danielle. It was frightening, it was frustrating, Um, no answers from doctors. I mean, they gave me what they could, but it wasn't in their their jurisdiction. Um, And after the, all the neurologists wanted time and time with the walking and the the speech was for me to take her to a, a psychologist. I'm not against psychology, but it's, it wasn't what was wrong with her and it, it became very frustrating. 
And so you finally found some answers with Dr. Bulow. And what kind of a feeling is that when you're finally getting the answers you need, your child is improving? It's, it's a relief. It's a relief. I mean, I knew the girl that I had prior to the accident and I just, I wanted her back. And I, it, it is horrifying to see your child having seizures, getting called from school, um, just knowing that she was struggling and struggling to keep herself going. And the more she pushed herself, the worse it got. And of course, the minute, I mean, she, the headaches were relieved immediately. And, and that's a plus in itself to know that you can go at least a few hours without a headache. But then, um, just as recent as two weeks ago, the stuttering just left and the walking was perfect. And it means a lot because I really didn't know how I was going and how she was going to live the rest of her life with these conditions. It's, I, I um, just, I'm impressed with parents who can, but if you know that there's help out there that can change it, it's just a relief. And what would you love to say to parents right now what would you like to let them know about if their child has been in this type of situation? Um, don't exhaust any options. I mean, uh, dare to dream outside the box. If I didn't have friends, I am one of the luckiest people alive. If it wasn't for my father having a chiropractic friend who also led me back to Dr. Below, uh, and my friend of a friend who, who referred him to me. And it's just, but word of mouth, parents need to know they have to ask the questions. If they don't get the questions out there, they're not going to learn about it, and it does make a difference. All right, Audrey and Danielle, thank you so much for sharing your story. Doctor, how does it make you feel when you <laughs> have gotten to the root of a problem like that? Yeah, I, I, I tell people all the time that I probably have the best job in the world, to be honest with you. Um, it's, it's not always easy, but it's always very, very rewarding, and, um, and it's pretty incredible. You know, we're not, I was ta talking to patients the other day, I said, you know, it's actually kind of crazy if you think about it. We're not putting anything into the body to necessarily artificially stimulate it, and we're not um, removing anything in the body. What we're doing is realigning the skull so that the brain can actually send the messages down through the spinal cord out over the nerve roots the way they're designed to do and improve blood supply to the brain. And when you do those things, the body's just designed to heal and function a certain way. So it's, it's, it's become somewhat, we expect uh, um, improvements across like, different levels and things like that. But it's, um, if you stop and look back, it's, yeah, it's pretty awesome, the types of cases that we see, and it's really easy to be inspired in what I do. All right, what would you tell people if they wanted this type of help? Maybe if they didn't know about this yeah. type of help, what would you like to let them so, know? So the biggest issue right now in our field is just awareness, right? Um, there's been a great deal of awareness in different health care concerns and things like that, and the problem with most people is that when they have an injury to the head and the neck, or the child has an injury to the head and the neck, or even if they don't think they've had an injury. A lot of car accidents, maybe the car's not broken, but inside your body has been shaken up. And it's, prevention's the name of the game. So they need to have it checked. And just like you would check your blood pressure with a, with a cuff, in our world we do thermal uh, heat imaging of the spine to measure for inflammation at the base of the skull. So the first step is to have an evaluation, see what's going on. In our office we have a fairly thorough consultation process. They can call and get scheduled for one of those and we can sit down with them. Um, in fact, we're actually having an event in the community. We're having a, an educational awareness dinner. We have patients out in the Donegal area. There's going to be a dinner out there. Our office is in Cranberry Township, but if patients are interested or if the community is interested, they can call our office and we can get them connected with a consultation in our facility or they can come out and join us on uh, March 31st. We're going to be out in Donegal um, having an awareness event out that way. All right. Any final thoughts? You know what? Um, I would just let people know that um, Life and health really truly does come from the inside out. There's not anything that someone can ever really give to you that's going to restore your life and health. That's something inherent. And as opposed to micromanaging what's wrong, we should really be out there seeking how can we restore what's right. Um, and that's a different philosophy. But when you go down that road, the possibilities are quite endless. Thank you so much for everything. Great Absolutely. information, Dr. Bulow. Now, if you would like to know more about Revive Upper Cervical Chiropractic, just give Dr. Bulow a call at 724-772-7060, or you can log on to revivepittsburgh.com.